Hey guys, where are we going? K2! Alright, climb on. I'm back to uh, attempt K2. I'm back here to, uh, to honor mom and my aunts and everybody else with Alzheimer's. I have a mission, I have a cause. And uh, that cause will push me further and harder than I've ever pushed in my life. And if there's any doubt that we were on a glacier, um, this is actually ice here underneath the, uh, the dirt. Well, it's July 7th, 2014. We're at the Goro 2 camp and just a beautiful, beautiful morning. We had a light dusting of snow overnight. And today we're going to head up to Concordia and then over to uh, Broad Peak Base Camp where we'll spend the night. Okay, beautiful, beautiful morning here. Uh, this is looking towards Concordia. The big mountain that you see looming right there, that is called G4 or Gasher Brom 4. These guys are helping each other on the loads. There goes Connie jumping down. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> well, it's July 8th, 2014, and we're here at Broad Peak Base Camp. Got in last night, and it was totally cloudy, but look what we see this morning. <laughs> there it is. There's K2. Oh my gosh, look at how big that mountain is. It uh, is 13,000 feet from where, where I'm standing to the summit. Okay, on the way to ABC for our first rotation up to Camp 1 and hopefully Camp 2. And some money. Then he said, okay, okay, okay. I think he's okay. We'll confirm with Yala. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, should be good to go. Then they Uh, yeah, we're about 17,500 feet between ABC and Camp One. That's Matt up there. You can see this is uh, this is pretty steep, and it gets even steeper. Yeah, I would say right now it's around uh, 40 degrees, and it'll increase to around 50 to 60 here shortly. Looking back down, there's uh, Garrett and Rick coming up. If you look out, you can see Camp or ABC tent down there. Uh, it appears that we have uh, a nice blessed arrow blade here, and here we have. Uh, watch my club. My mind's gone. Some type of. Anyway, very secure pitons. Uh, then we have a variety of knots. Uh, fishermen's have a figure of eight, and then it looks like there's a figure of eight and some type of backup here and. The vehicleized anchor is very nicely. It's confidence inspiring. If you worry about this whole thing flaking off, you probably shouldn't be here. <laughs> Geology so, in action. So you trust your life to this this setup? I do this particular one, I guess. I have no choice. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get to inspect it before I got up here. And we're gonna keep on heading up, and you can see this is the uh, way to Camp One. It's up there, just below those three black. John Darms that you see sticking up. It's probably another two hours to run. Well, hey everybody, this is Alan from K2 Base Camp. It's uh, July 21st, leaving tomorrow morning, head up to K2. You know, this is what we've been working for. Um, so you guys know what this is all about. And I appreciate all your support. Appreciate you coming along with me to the top, hopefully. All right, climb on. This is Alan. And remember, memory is your everything. Beautiful sunrise.
rice here in the corn. And that's where we're headed. Okay, here we are between camp one and camp two, about 20,500 feet. Taking a little break. And now we're gonna head up higher. From here on out, it gets in the rock. We gotta worry about the rock. Is that right, Kami? Yes. This part is very dangerous because the rock pulled down. But you guys, uh, walk slowly, otherwise, too tight, then. All right, you heard it here first. If you, if you pull the rope too tight, whoosh. There's a lot of bear glass on the route. <laughs> hey, Matt. We're having fun now. <laughs> we are having fun now. <laughs> okay, we're at the uh, base of the uh, house's chimney, and you can see somebody heading up it right now. is right above really right right above that cornice right there and that's the black pyramid up there I'll zoom into that a little bit and come back around you can see the guy heading up house of chimney right now and that's where we're going to go in a few minutes Okay, I'm about halfway up. Okay, I'm about halfway up House of Chimney. There's Matt. Give me a wave, Matt. There he is. He's already climbed up it. You can see the ladder. We've got some decent front point footholds here. And this is House of Chimney from the top. July 26, 2014, we're at Camp 3, 24,000 feet on K2, <laughs> getting packed up to head up to Camp 4. There's the monster. Looking into China, over the Karakoram Range, see some glaciers you don't normally see, Got the Broad Peak. This is July 26, 2014. You can see some climbers heading up. We're making good progress. A lot of lines sinking along. We've already passed the, uh, the bottleneck. So now all I have left is the summit. 
It was a beautiful, beautiful day. We're almost in some of the K2. I'm gonna head to work for this one. And they're right here. That's right, it doesn't come easy. Not on K2. We're all working hard today. Well, here we are. July 27th, 2014, at the summit of K2. Unbelievable. Up here, okay. You just summited K2. How's that Coke taste? Unbelievable. <laughs> I can't believe we summited K2. Thanks to all you guys. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Thanks. Well done, team. Camp 2 is down there, and there's base camp, halfway between camp 3, sorry, halfway between camp 2 and camp 3. Just trying to hold it together. Look at all these ropes. Woo! All the trees are just... Ah. This is a ladder in the Black Pyramid going down. You can see Camp 1 down there in Camp 2. Let's turn back around. There's a mat coming down in the surface. Well, I'm going work. My urine is turning black. It was brown. 24 hours ago, I had some 2 liters or more of water overnight, so I don't know what to think. I'm trying to get down to ABC and talk to Garrett, talk to Dawes, we'll see if there's a doctor in camp or maybe we can call one. I know it's dehydration, but I'm afraid my kidneys are shutting down and my whole lower back now is really hurting. And it's not from the pack, it's only about less than 10 pounds. 
So I'm gonna do my best to get down. I'm still having trouble catching my breath, even with the oxygen. I know there's oxygen down ABC. It's not that far away. So So Kami, we climbed K2, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. We are successful in K2, but in the way, a uh, little bit uh, difficult because the Baldur Glacier was a very long way. That's where Allen was very tired, but uh, it's okay, no problem. Now we, we are in Iscarto. Today we go uh, Iscarto, yeah. Now, <laughs> yeah, we are waiting for the Jeep. <laughs> We're waiting for the Jeep. Well, thank you, Kami, so much for all your help. I appreciate it, man. Okay, no you're, problem. You're a great guy. No problem, yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. <laughs> well, we just climbed K2, and now we're in a, a Scully, and we're getting ready to go. Here's our steam driver. How you guys doing? Everybody, everybody okay? Everybody ready to roll? All right. Inshallah. Back door. Okay, we're there. It was a good trip. Hey, Matt, <laughs> you just summoned to K2. What are you going to do now? Sleep for 24 hours and go to Disneyland. <laughs> 